Here we have is a Dell Anywhere X51 R2. The R1, R2, R3 are exactly the same thing, just different motherboard inside. We're going to open up and explore the inside. So first we're going to flip it up to the left hand side, which is when facing you, it will be the left hand side. There's one screw at the back. We're going to remove that to remove the cover. So after we remove the screw, we pull the panel forward towards the front. Be careful, there's a string connected to it. Disconnect the string before you continue. When placing back the lid, remember to align the string in the gap, or else you're going to have an issue putting it back. There's going to be a gap. Now we're going to remove the graphic card. There's two screws holding it down, one and two. After removing the screw, you just have to lift it up. Be careful, don't lift it up too hard and far, as um, there's a string connected to the graphic card. So, with the graphic card, there's a blue tab. You have to open the blue tab first, and there's a button on the other side. Pressing that button down will enable you to remove the graphic card. Sorry, um, it's a bit hard for me to remove the graphic card as um, I dropped my case and it's a bit bent, bent, making it hard for me to remove the graphic card. But for you guys, or for you guys with a proper case or proper undamaged computer, it should be easier for you to remove. So to put it back, simply just the same way you remove it. Just align it with the side. You push it, when you push it back, the back clip or back button will automatically go go in, so you don't have to do anything. And remember to close the blue tab. We're going to now remove the DB drive. There's one screw holding the DB drive down. After removing the screw, you're going to have to pull the DVD right backwards and it comes out. Don't lift it up too far as there's a cable holding it down. This is a laptop DVD drive, not your normal desktop DVD drive. We're now going to remove the CPU heatsink surround plastic thing. We're going to remove this so it's easier for us to access the RAM and to see the components behind this, which is the wireless card and this CPU. Now we're going to remove the hard drive. There's one screw holding the hard drive down. We need to pull the hard drive tab backwards to remove it. And you push it back in and it goes back in. That's just an example. We now going to remove the RAM. The RAM only has tabs on one side and the other tab is static, so you can't remove it. You probably can't see the tab, but it's on the top side. There's one tab each for each RAM, and you have to lift it up from that side as well. As you see, we can we only can lift it up from one side. When you put it back, you put it back the same way you lift it up. That's the CPU heatsink, and the CPU is underneath, and that's the wireless card. Now I'm going to show you an overview of everything of that we remove. So hard drive, graphic card, DVD drive, the case, panel, and that's it. 
when removing stuff, it's this is pretty simple. All the screws are the same. They're just different color as the black screws. There's only one, which is on the outside. All the screws inside are all silver or gray. With when removing, be careful. Don't remove things too quick, as um most things have cables attached to them. By removing too quick, you can disconnect the cable from the motherboard and cause yourself issues. Just place it back. 